This video will cover the topic inverse functions, quadratic square root. How do I find the inverse of a function? When finding the inverse of a function, the outputs of the original function become the inputs of the inverse function and vice versa. Let's say that f is our original function and the inverse of f is our inverse function. To more clearly identify the relationship between the two, the domain of f is the range of f inverse and the range of f is the domain of f inverse. Okay, so how can we apply this to quadratic and square root functions? Let's say we're given the function f of x equals the square root of 1 minus x plus 1 for the domain negative infinity to 1. We can take a look at its graph for reference. Let's first consider the domain and range of f. Since the domain of f is negative infinity to 1, f of x is defined for x is less than or equal to 1. To find the range, we need to consider the minimum value of the function. For the standard square root function, y equals square root of x, the minimum value is 0. The plus 1 in our function corresponds to a vertical translation one unit upward. So the minimum value of our function, f of x equals the square root of 1 minus x plus 1, is 1. This tells us f of x can be any value greater than or equal to 1, so the range is 1 to infinity. We can also verify the range of f by looking at the graph. The range is the set of all y-coordinates of the points on the graph. We see that all y-values from 1 to infinity are shown on the graph, which corresponds to the interval 1 to infinity. So since 1 to infinity is the range of f, is 1 to infinity the domain of f inverse? That's exactly right. Similarly, since the domain of f is negative infinity to 1, the range of inverse f is negative infinity to 1. So now that we know the domain and range of the inverse function, how do we actually determine the equation of the inverse function? Let's say that y equals f of x. If y equals f inverse of x, the roles of x and y are switched. And we must now solve the equation for y. After simplifying, we see that our final answer is f inverse of x equals 1 minus the quantity x minus 1 squared for the domain 1 to infinity. Okay, so to find the inverse function in its domain from a given function, we must first find the domain and range of the original function. The domain of the original function becomes the range of the inverse function, and the range of the original function becomes the domain of the inverse function. We can then find the equation of the inverse function by switching the x and y values of the original function and solving for y. That's exactly right. Great work! 